Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, I am here to show you an installer that will do all the hard work for you for the Nerve Pack Lite that is on the Twitch sub server, as well as if you guys want to play with it yourself. So, this is going to be a very easy way to install it. Last time it took us like 15 minutes to 20 minutes or something like that. This time it should take us under six hopefully so let me go ahead and show you this works in the exact same way that the at launcher works but it's its own installer so first you need to uh, make sure you have forge installed I do not have minecraft installed at all so I'm just gonna go open up minecraft and I'm just going to insert my email as well as my password let it load up we're gonna play it just for once Actually, we need to make sure that we're in 164. So hold on one second. Uh, see if we can close it mid. I guess we can close it mid launch. Nice. Okay, so load it back up. We're going to edit profile and make sure that we're in 164. Save game, play. And now it'll download 164. All the files that you're going to need. There we go. I was like, why is, I guess 172 is still up. Alright, so we got 164 now. What we need to do is we need to get Minecraft Forge, which there will be a link in the description on where to download this. And you will need nerdpack.exe. This is the program that I made in C Sharp last night. So, first of all, Minecraft Forge, you want to install the client, make sure it's on .minecraft, and click OK. Oh, I'm sorry, we need the 164 version of Minecraft Forge. Let me go to my downloads real quick. Again, I will have a download to this. I'll just click it. All right, so <clears throat> here's the 164. We're going to go ahead and click OK. Again, you're going to need 164 for the 164 version. And make sure you're on 164 version, because as you've seen right there, if you were on 172, it wouldn't let me do this. Click OK, and you are ready to go. Now, if you open up the Minecraft launcher, and go to edit profile you will see that it is set up for nearby gamer and it's set for release you can go right here and go to forge and then play edit profile as you can see it's set up for forge and it's set up for the forge release now the game directory we want to set backslash nerb server capital n capital s save profile and then we just want to exit out of minecraft now you want to hit nerb pack and just run this it's going to open up a command prompt and it says please make sure that this program is in your c.users.usernameappdataroaming.minecraft so first thing you want to do is open up your minecraft throw that in your dot minecraft because what's going to do is it's going to download the files and stuff that you need for the nerd server right here so click this again and then hit enter for start so what's going to do is it's going to download all the mods that you're going to need when it gets to AdFly mods, you'll see that we'll, we'll have to do the same thing that you do at the At Launcher, as well as for Mediafire ads or Medi Mediafire mods. But you can see it created a NURB server, configs, and a mods folder. It will download all the mods that you can download directly, and then it will pause here in a second after it downloads all that and it says the next downloads are through your default web browser so it's making sure that you have it set to a default web browser it's going to put all of your stuff that you download from the default web browser into your users slash username slash downloads so for me it was users slash nearby gamer slash downloads that's where all of my files are going to be downloading to make sure that your files are downloading to that from your web browser which is if you have google chrome that's like the default way it downloads but if you change it in any way, any form, this will not work. So, you can see right here in the configs, go ahead and click extract here. That's all you need to do right there in the configs, and that's it. All right, press enter. As you can see, it's going to open up every single browser that we're going to need. So, we'll just click download, keep, and then as soon as it's done downloading, make sure it is done downloading. This is, doesn't have any error checking, so if you have it partially downloaded, it's going to have problems. So make sure this is completely downloaded. So click Enter. Chat bubbles. We're going to click that. We're going to get ads, of course, because it's Mediafire. Again, click that. Ads, of course, Mediafire. And we have ads with music now. Awesome. Okay, 
No fog, click that. Download again, make sure that it is completely downloaded down here. Now Mediafire, the way it works is if it's a zip file, it'll go ahead and download it without asking you. However, if it's something like a jar, it's going to ask you, hey, this can harm your computer. Are you sure you want to keep it? Go ahead and click keep. And then enter again. Every time you enter, it's going to take you to the next mod that you have to download. Now, it gets down to the next downloads are AdFly supported. Please watch the ads to support the developers. So, all the next mods that you will see are AdFly's. So, we'll go ahead and exit out of all that stuff. Click start. Make sure you're at least setting on the AdFly page. And then just click uh, skip ad. Let it download down here. Once it's finished, enter. So this is the exact same way that you would be doing it through the app launcher, except for this is my own installation of whatever mods that I want. Click enter. If this uh, video gets 300 likes, we will have a nerve pack that has all the uh, Simucraft and stuff in it for you guys. Make sure on this one, I even put it specifically, Carpenter's Blocks 1.9.3 for MC 1.6. So not one five one six. So click that one, click download, and then click enter. I know this is exactly the same way we were doing it before, but it's a little bit user friendly because half the mods download for you for themselves because they're downloading from the original place that you can download them from. I'll go ahead and start getting rid of some of these other old ones. keep enter it's just an ad fly waiting game now is pretty much what it is but you'll see that it will run just fine once it's all done so keep enter but the way this launcher works is it can we can pretty much add any mods that we want even if it's through an ad fly and all you have to do is hit keep enter it's going to take all those mods it's not copying them it's actually cutting them and pasting them into the folder necessary and needed. So you're not going to have additional stuff in your downloads folder. Enter. We have about six or seven more mods left. Make sure again you have it completely downloaded before you hit enter because there is no loops here. It will not check to see hey is this downloaded. It will just go on to the next one. It was just a quick program I whipped up within the time that I had. But I think it's going to help all those people out there that don't really know how to or where to place all the mods. It basically does it all for you. Keep, enter. Yeah, there's like three mods after this. But you're also supporting all of the developers that want support. I opted of uh, AdFly for every single mod that I downloaded that had it. You might get this. This is just saying, hey, I'm not a bot. I'm a comp I'm a real person. I'm a real boy. Skip, keep, enter. Three more. Now, if I end up getting permissions for any of these mods, then we can go ahead and make them direct downloads. But for right now, the way we have it set up is the way we have it set up and the way it's going to work. But again, like I said, I think this will be a lot easier for every single one of you guys out there just to go through and let it do its thing and just hit enter. And here's the last one. Skip. Enter. Alright, it's not going to tell you it's done. It's just going to go ahead and finish. We're going to open up Minecraft. If you look right here in the mod section, you'll see all the mods that we just downloaded. Click play. 
because again we went to edit profile and hit NURB server which is where it actually extracted everything and all the configs we extracted too remember right click extract here for the configs okay so we're a little over six minutes but that's about the ads that's all the ad times but yeah we have 90 mods installed and if I wanted to I don't know if I have the uh, actual IP on me right now I don't but I could get on the uh, sub server if I wanted to so there we go create new world you'll see it creates and plays just fine and now we have our own builder in a way. I might add a GUI interface, but for right now, just deal with the whole uh, command prompt esque thing that we have going on. But yeah, if we get 300 likes on this video, I will go ahead and make a launcher for, or, a, or sh installer, I should say, for uh, Nerd Pack, what I'm actually playing on the Minecraft series or on YouTube. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm hoping you guys like this. Have fun, and tell me what you guys think. Bye, everyone.